three kids out here busting their butts. Couldn't be prouder of them. A little tired right now. I'm gonna hop in the spa. Turn the jets on. We got the skeleton up. So today was a pretty busy day. We did two big important things. Those uh, uh, ledger boards down there at the bottom, those two by eights, frozen two by eights by 10. It snowed here a couple days ago. Yesterday it was freezing, ground was frozen. Today it was 60 degrees. So we were walking in mud. Here, let me show you. Let me show you, I got the 20 foot, 20 pound shoes. 20 pound shoes, yeah, they're beautiful. Anyway, so we got uh, all uh, 11, 10 of the uh, ribs up, and one purlin, that piece across the middle there, sorry, that piece right there, called a purlin, and there's four of them at each of the seams, but I didn't want to just leave those ribs sticking up overnight supposed to rain tomorrow but hopefully be warm enough that we can still get some work done um, and get the rest of these purlins in and then these cross braces here in the corners these cross braces right here they're not attached yet that'll square everything up and then I think she's uh she's in good shape and uh, we'll start hello it's uh, the 15th of February and I'm excited just got all of the purlins done the purlins are these cross members that run this way. There's four of them. And I probably didn't read the instructions as closely as I should. You're supposed to install them as you put the ribs up. You put another purlin up, ribs, purlins, and you build it as you go along. Um, I really wanted to get the ribs up. Um, so I put those up first and then I put all the purlins in later. Um, and things got a little cockeyed. So ultimately I had to loosen all of the clamps, start here at the end, tighten them up, fix them into position, and work my way back. Um, so that was about, started at 8.30, so about three hours is about the amount of time it took to install two from scratch and adjust everything. But um, we're good, and we're going to move on to the next step, and the next step is to build this wall here. I want to get that done today, get that framed out with these... Uh, a two inch metal studs and uh, I put the I put a piece of pipe that I found in the barn down there in the drain so that runs from the center point had an elbow on it and everything very convenient and made it just to the end Should about a foot past the end so I'm going to fill in this trench I want to do that today uh, the other thing I want to do is, because I'm gonna, I've got this wall open here, this is going to be the wall with the door in it, and as soon as I frame it out for the door, I will be unable to drive the tractor in here. So I think I better get all the tractor work done. So the plan for today is to build that end wall, or at least frame out that end wall, fill in this drain, and then bring in topsoil from these various piles. I've got topsoil in the back pile, compost, compost. I got another uh, thing of topsoil back there. You know, I could always pull the topsoil out of these strawberry beds. Uh, but what I want to do is, because we plan to plant in this, this half of the greenhouse here, I plan to uh, put uh, good topsoil in 
compost here on that half. So I'd like to get that done because that's a that's probably 20 I don't know 15 20 buckets from the tractor and I certainly don't want to do that with a wheelbarrow. Anyway there's an update. Okay folks it's uh, Saturday four o'clock. Beautiful day. It was uh, freezing yesterday and today it's at least 60 degrees. Well I'm standing in the greenhouse the framing component, whatever part we're on, part four, is now complete. All of the uh, skeleton pieces are done. The end panels are done. The door is installed. That was a funny installation. You had to install it as you were putting the uh, vertical members on. So let me give you a quick tour. This hole here, this hole here is for this louver, this 30 inch louver, it goes in the middle up top. And then we've got another hole over here by the ladder. That's a 24 foot or 24 inch square. That's where a fan goes. And then there's a space over here for the propane heater. And the door hardware is not on yet, but the door is kind of fly. Now I know what I'm going to. I'm going to get some comments that say, "Wait a minute, your door's swinging the wrong way." Well, let me tell you, one of my favorite channels is the Swedish Homestead, and in Sweden, doors swing out. And the hinges are on the outside. That's some fire reason, but I did it because the greenhouse space is too valuable. Sorry for shaking. So, there you go. Part four is done. Part five will be uh, adding the polycarbonate panels and um, stringing the, or stretching the plastic over the roof. Sunset, beautiful sunset on the homestead. Thanks for joining me. Do you have any comments, questions, concerns? Am I doing it wrong? Just uh, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Peace.